No man's life can be encompassed in one telling. There is no way to give each year its justified weight, to include each event, each of the elders, friends, and other people who helped to shape a lifetime. What can be done is to be faithful in spirit to the record and to try to find one's way to the heart of the man. A man who is the representative of God on earth for these turbulent times through which our world is passing. A man about whom God himself revealed over a hundred years ago to the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, on a number of times. In December 1907, God told the promised Messiah, I am with you, O Masrur. In January 1907, the promised Messiah wrote, I saw in my dream my son Sharif Ahmad, who was wearing a turban, and there were two men standing near him. One of them pointing to him said, here comes the king, and the other one said, he has yet to be the judge first. On the 28th of May, 1907, God revealed, Allah has made him Amir, contrary to expectation. On the 10th of January, 1907, the promised Messiah said, A few years back, I had said in a vision about my son Sharif Ahmad, Now you sit down in my place, and I shall leave. These revelations were fulfilled by the progeny of Hadrat Mirza Sharif Ahmad in the person of Hadrat Mirza Masrur Ahmad, Khalifa Tulmasi V, the present head of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community. And this is the story of his life. In his Friday sermon of the 8th of September 1950, Hadrat Khalifa Masih II said, the promised Messiah said that I am departing, but God will send the second manifestation for you. But our Lord does not only have the second manifestation, he has the third manifestation as well. And he does not only have the third manifestation, he has the fourth manifestation also, followed by the fifth and the sixth manifestation. And thus the hand of God will keep showing this miracle to the world. He further said, The Holy Prophet, Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, once said that when religion will be in danger, God will send a few people of Persian descent to defend it. The promised Messiah was one of them, and so am I. And it is also possible that under this prophecy there may be others of the Persian descent who will be sent to uphold the magnificence of religion and to strengthen its foundations. Just a few days after this faith-inspiring address, God sent to this world Sahib Zada Mirza Masrur Ahmad, who was born on the 15th of September 1950 in Rabwa, Pakistan, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community's headquarters. He is the great grandson of the founder of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Hadrat Mirza Khulam Ahmad, the promised Messiah, and the grandson of the youngest son of the promised Messiah, Hadrat Mirza Sharif Ahmad Sahib and the maternal grandson of Hadrat Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmad, Khalifa Tulmasi II. He is the son of Hadrat Sahibzada Mirza Mansur Ahmad and Hadrat Sahibzadi Nasir Begum. Sahibzada Mirza Masru Ahmad completed his primary education at the Talimul Islam High School, Rabwa, and obtained his B.A. from the Talimul Islam College, Rabwa, Pakistan. In 1976, he earned his Master's of Science degree in Agricultural Economics from the Agriculture University, Faisalabad, Pakistan. At the tender age of 17, he signed up for Vasiyat, or the will, under the plan initiated by the Promised Messiah thus committing a portion not less than one-tenth of his lifetime earnings and any property to the cause of Islam. He got married on the 31st of January 1977 to Sayyida Amutus Sabu Begum Sahiba, daughter of Zayed Daud Muzaffar Shah Sahib and Sahib Zadi Amatul Hakim Begum. He is blessed with two children, a daughter, Sahib Zadi Amatul Varis Fateh, who is married to Fateh Ahmad Dahiri Sahib of Nawabsha, and a son, Sahibzada Mirza Waqas Ahmad, who is married to Sahibzadi Hibatur Rauf. 
In 1977, Sahib Zada Mirza Masroor Ahmad devoted his life for Islam and proceeded to Ghana under the Nasrat Yahan scheme. This social, educational, and economic development scheme, initiated by Hadrat Khalifa Tulmasi III, supports a large number of hospitals and schools in West Africa. He was the founding principal of the Ahmadiyya Secondary School Salaga in the northern region of Ghana, where he served for two years. Under his devoted care and guardianship, the school went steadily forward. His success at the school made him the obvious choice for the principal of the Ahmadiyya Secondary School at Isacha in the central region of Ghana, where he served for a further four years. He was then appointed as the manager of the Ahmadiyya Agricultural Farm in Dapali in the northern region of Ghana for two years, during which he successfully planted and nurtured wheat as an economic crop for the first time in that country. This was exhibited at an international trade fair and the results were submitted to the Ministry of Agriculture of Ghana. It stands as a great credit to his personal efforts in those experiments that successive presidents of Ghana have commended the Ahmadiyya Muslim community for these highly successful experiments which revolutionized the country's economy and paved the way for self-sufficiency. In 1985, he returned to Pakistan and on the 17th of March 1985, he was appointed as Wakilul Malsani, that is, departmental in charge of financial affairs. On the 18th of June 1994, he was appointed as director of education. In August 1988, he was appointed as president by Hishti Makbara and Majlis Karpadaz, which is the executive committee managing the celestial graveyard and its related matters. From 1994 to 1997, he was chairman Nasser Foundation. At the same time, he served as the president of the organization responsible for the beautification of Rabwa, the international headquarters of the community. He expanded the gulshan e ahmad nursery, and his personal efforts led to reforming Rabwa from its barren to its lush green image. Sahib Zada Mirza Masru Ahmad also served as a member of the Qada, the jurisprudence board of the community, from 1988 to 1995. In central Khuddamul Ahmadiyya, an auxiliary organization of the community comprising of men between 15 and 40 years of age, Sahib Zada Mirza Masru Ahmad served under various capacities, such as the secretary responsible for the physical health of members. Secretary for Census and Membership Records, Secretary for External Chapters, and the Vice President of the organization from 1976 to 1990. In Central Majlis Ansarullah, an auxiliary organization of the community comprising men over 40 years of age, Sahib Zada Mirza Masru Ahmad served as the secretary responsible for the intellectual progress and physical health of the members during the 1995 term and as the secretary for Quranic education for the terms from 1995 to 1997.